the disability community is appalled that Bill C-7 would allow people with a disability to have their lives ended when they are suffering but not dying. This is not how we respond to the suffering of any other group of Canadian, much less any other charter protected group. We're told Canadians want this, yet every national disability organization is opposed. If Canadians supported assisted suicide for being Indigenous or a member of the LGBTQ2S plus citizens, for example, who are suffering as a result of being Indigenous or because of their gender identity, we would not be here today. Canadians recognize suicide is more prevalent amongst those who experience systemic racism or societal devaluation. Thus, prevention is a necessity and every life lost is a tragedy. Why is it not just as great a tragedy for an Indigenous person with a disability or someone with any other identity who has a disability? There are three points I'd like to cover. First, why us? As no other charter protected Canadian life is being put at risk by this bill, there is only one answer to this question. The lives of Canadians with disabilities are not of equal value. Language and perceptions are powerful, including disability as a condition warranting assisted suicide equates to declaring some lives as not worth living, a her historically horrific premise with consequences that should terrify us all and clearly terrifies the disability community and their families. To be clear, an inclusive life remains elusive for the majority of adults with intellectual disabilities. There is no right to adequate supports in Canada. 75% of adults with an intellectual disability are unemployed. They are four times more likely to be living in poverty, four times more likely to experience violence, and a staggering amount of people with an intellectual disability remain housed in institutions and long-term care facilities. Canada is failing its commitments under the UN CRPD to uphold the rights and inherent dignity of all people with disabilities. Persons with disabilities in Canada suffer an inadequate patchwork of supports with extensive wait lists for services. A state-sanctioned death is not the solution. With having a disability itself under Bill C-7 as the justification for the termination of life, the very essence of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms would be shattered. Discrimination on the basis of disability would once again be entrenched in Canadian law. People with disabilities have been historically devalued and marginalized in Canada, and that remains to be sufficiently remedied. Bill C-7 further devalues the lives of people with disabilities and fundamentally changes made from physician-assisted dying near the end of life to physician-assisted suicide on the basis of disability. The lives of people with disabilities are as necessary to the integrity of the human family as any other dimension of humanity. And this threat to the lives of people with disabilities is a threat to us all. Mm -hmm.